Ad blockers are browser extensions that audiences can use to prevent advertising from being displayed on websites. These extensions are more popular than ever, with 37% of internet users installing them. I'm John Hopper from the Google News Initiative. In this short video, we'll cover how you can detect how ad blockers are impacting your business and the steps you can take to reduce the impact on your revenue. While news publishers have no way to make their website immune from the impact of ad blocking, you can calculate how many of your readers are using them. And once you have this information, there are steps you can take to try to reduce their use. One way to detect how much of your audience is using ad blockers is by using the Google News Tagging Guide. This is a free of cost tool developed for the news industry that helps capture better data on Google Analytics. The guide will also help you identify key metrics you should be capturing from users by using tags you can copy paste to your site and amplify key recommendations and insights on improving audience engagement and reader revenue. Here's how to use it. First, select Google Analytics implementation and account ID. Then choose which reader revenue model you'd like to explore. Next, select ad blocking as a type of conversion that you would like to measure. From there, you can pick which JavaScript code to add to your site. Some of the options include, how many users are blocking ads on your site? How many have whitelisted it? Meaning how many have disabled ad blocking on your specific site? You can copy and paste the code from the news tagging guide and note that you will need to have Google Analytics set up to use it. Once you have a better idea of how many of your users are using ad blockers, you can implement strategies to encourage them to allow ads on your site. To do so, you'll need to enlist a consent management platform, or CMP, to detect and address your audience using ad blockers. There are many options to choose from, and Google offers a free of cost CMP solution through Ad Manager, AdMob, and AdSense. You can find out more on the link provided. Let's dive further into the five best practices we have seen in the news industry. These recommendations are based on practices that Google has seen work for news organizations around the world. You can visualize these recommendations through the demo site that we've built. Publishers can access it from anywhere without even needing to log in. One, consider how you use advertising on your site. Almost half of ad block users install the software because of frustrating experiences with ads. Think about removing intrusive ads, such as pop-ups, or offering an ad-free subscription option. Two, inform your audience of the impact of ad blocking. Being transparent about how ads support the creation of your journalism will help your audience understand why it's important. Three, Ask your users to consider turning off ad blockers for your site specifically. Over half of people who use ad blockers don't know they can have a list of websites, a whitelist, which are individually approved for ads. Consider asking your audience directly to allow ads on your site. Four, show repeat visitors how often they visit with a reminder of the value they're finding from your content. For example, you could display an article counter that says something like, You've read 10 articles this month. Consider supporting us by unblocking ads. Five, consider requiring people to allow ads to view your content. This might reduce how many people use ad blockers, but it might also cause some users to leave your site entirely. Thinking about how to offset losses from ad blocking is just one way to increase your reader revenue. If you'd like to learn more ways to boost your organization's revenue, we suggest checking out the other videos in the series. The Google News Initiative also provides in-depth coaching for our news organizations through our labs. You can learn more and apply on our website, g.co slash news initiative, or contact us with feedback or questions at contactgni at google.com. Thank you.